Financial consultants are like good therapists, okay? They get you the person to talk. And it... How can we make money? How can someone make money learning all the things that you know? So in other words, how can someone make money understanding the difference between the way men and women think? All right, Everything so here's, here's, some, here's some bottom line with it, which is if you're working with women, and you're selling something to a woman. Part of, one way of making money is you're you're selling, right? You're selling securities. You're selling a product. You're selling. You're marketing something. That's the basis of, of a lot of our business success. You're selling. If you want to sell to somebody, you're on your male side. They're on their female side of receiving. So whether it be a man or a woman, but mainly with women, even more. If they're on the receptive side, you have to build trust with them so they will trust you. How do you have a woman trust you more? Listen to her more. Just like I tell husbands, listen more than giving solutions. If you're with a man, let him know right away. I can solve that. You gotta, we'll do this. I've done this before. I've accomplished this. Look at these people I've worked with. I've done this. I've done this. Build yourself up with your confidence, and with which may even look like arrogance. That's okay with another man. A woman will pick it up right away and not trust you. She wants to feel not that you're so important, that she's important. Certainly credentials and success is a part of it for a woman, but more importantly, to build trust with women, get her to talk about her concerns, get her to talk about her issues, what's important to her, what's not important to her, what's her history with this. In a sense, you're doing a therapy session with her. Financial <laughs> consultants are like good therapists, okay? They get you the person to talk. And with, with a woman, the more you can get her to talk about things that are important to her, what her concerns are, her doubts, her questions, her experiences before, and you validate. You say, I hear you. I understand that. And so many times you might give an example, the sto a story to validate that perspective. That builds trust. And then she will be your client. She will depend on you. That's success. Back in the 90s, when my Men from Mars was coming out and so big, many of the banks hired me as a consultant. How can you get women to come to our bank? And then suddenly you'll see in the 90s, the big promo out there was, we want a personal relationship with you. We understand where you're coming from. We're here for you. You weren't just bragging about how much, how much business we have. We've done we got $38 billion in this and we built this and we've done that. You didn't see that so much anymore. That impresses men a lot. But what impresses women is I care, we care, personalized relationship, we listen, we understand, we hear, we honor your needs, we respect your needs, we'll provide the best for you. So you see, you're, you're the same thing I'm teaching men to do for women. You do that same approach with anybody who's your client who's depending on you for something. If that person is a man, you want to emphasize a bit more, less of her, him talking and a bit more of you talking about what you've done, what you can do, what you will do. And the objective for working with a man is always having the attitude of understanding men. Men want to, <laughs> men are lazy. Okay. <laughs> if we could get you to do something for us and you have the, you convince me you have the skill to do it. I'll work with you. I'll go with you based on what you can do for me. Then I don't have to do it. I can do other things. Whereas women, it's more of a personal relationship. They will build trust and work with you.